Welcome back to Airgun Academy, the series that helps you identify the right airguns for your needs. In this episode, we're going to look at hunting airguns. We'll be limiting the scope of our discussion to small game, like squirrels, cottontail rabbits, turkeys, and similar sized animals. While it's true that airguns can take medium sized game, such as white-tailed deer and wild pigs, that level of hunting is beyond the scope of guns we're discussing today. Guns that can take those animals are much larger calibers. As with pest control air guns, I'm going to eliminate CO2 guns from the start. That's because hunting usually takes place in cool weather, and CO2 is dependent on warmer temperatures for its power. If you live in a hot climate and want to hunt with CO2, just find the guns that develop the power I'm talking about in this episode, and substitute them. Before we start looking at air guns, let's set some rules to follow. Rule number one is that we don't shoot at game at a distance too far for us to put five out of five shots into a one inch circle. The farthest distance at which we can do that every time is the farthest distance at which we shoot at game. While the body of a rabbit is quite large, the humane kill zone is very small. You have to hit either the heart or the brain. While the kill zone of different animals varies in size, if you can hit a one inch circle, you'll be on target most of the time. Rule number two is to use enough power. For squirrels and cottontail rabbits, we would like to put at least eight foot pounds of energy on target. If you have a rifle that develops 12 foot pounds at the muzzle, at what distance does that drop off to eight foot pounds? Maybe 25 yards is the limit for such a low powered rifle. If your game is woodchucks, prairie dogs, turkeys, or similar size game, choose a rifle that has at least 20 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle. Do this for two reasons. First, because larger game deserves a gun with greater power. And second, because these game animals are always at farther distances, and you need the energy to reach them. To get a sense of the power of an air gun, let me show you some pellet velocities and the relative power. Generally speaking, the advertised velocity for an air rifle is usually obtained with the lightest pellets. So, in 177 caliber, you'll need a 950 feet per second rifle to generate that 12 foot pounds because the heavier pellets are less efficient, though much more accurate. It will take a 1300 to 1400 feet per second rifle to generate 20 foot pounds. In 22 caliber, a rifle rated at 800 feet per second will get you 12 plus foot pounds. For 20 foot pounds, look for a rifle rated to deliver 1,000 feet per second. Don't just look at the velocity of a gun and figure that it's powerful enough. When using real hunting pellets, you have to realize that the velocity, and therefore the power, is going to be significantly less. Now, let's take a look at some great air guns for hunting. Beginning with multi pneumatics, let's start with the Benjamin 392 and 397. 392 is 22 caliber, and the 397 is the same gun in 177. I recommend the 22 caliber for hunting because the pellet carries more energy farther and makes a larger wound channel for more humane kills. There are some awesome pre-charged pneumatics that are even more powerful and more accurate than these multi-pumps, but the cost is higher. The Benjamin Discovery is one of the best values in a pre-charged rifle. And, once again, we recommend 22 caliber for hunting. Now, spring piston rifles give you a lot more choice than multi-pumps and PCPs. Let's begin with the Benjamin Trail Nitro Piston Hardwood Rifle. This air rifle produces around 20 foot-pounds in 22 caliber. Because of the nitrogen piston inside, it's a rifle you can leave cocked for hours while you hunt. Also, there's no steel spring to degrade. Something important to know is that this rifle requires the use of the artillery hold for the best possible accuracy, but that's just part of learning to become a better shot. For a little more money, you can buy the RWS Diana 34P Striker Combo in 22 caliber. It offers a better trigger, but not quite as much power. So it would be used when hunting for 20 foot pound game at closer distances. Now. For the ultimate in spring piston air rifles, you should consider the Beeman RX2 with a gas piston in 25 caliber. 
It generates about 25 foot-pounds of energy and can take out bigger small game animals at greater distances. And once again, a gas piston means you can leave it cocked a long time without worrying about spring fatigue. In this episode, we covered air guns that are appropriate for ethically hunting small game. Let's recap what we've learned. Use at least 12 foot pound guns for smaller game, like squirrels and rabbits. Whatever gun you choose, it must be able to hit a one inch circle at the range you intend shooting. 22 caliber pellets do more damage at slower speeds, but they also cost more. 177 caliber pellets are cheaper, but require better shot placement for results. Break barrel spring rifles are faster to use than multi-pumps. All spring piston rifles require the artillery hold for accuracy. Keep on watching, and we'll help you find the right air gun for your shooting needs. And check back for future episodes that deal with different types of air guns for a variety of uses. Thanks for watching Air Gun Academy. Stay tuned for another great lesson from Pyramid Air. Thank you.